Would you like to crack the RCA? Hi, my name is Dr. Erwin Kwan. I have doctors lead a happier and more fulfilling life. In this video, I'm going to share with you three tips that we'll discuss at the RCA Blueprint course this morning. So tip number one is on how you get the right cases. In order for you to pass the RCA, it's very important that you get the cases that are suitable for the RCA. And how you do that? The way you do that is you need to get your practice on board. The RCA is a team effort and it's very important that you get the practice on board, speak with your educational supervisor, speak with the practice manager and speak with the receptionist. Let them know what the RCA is about and let them know what sort of cases you're looking for. And also very important to let them know what type of cases that would not be suitable for the RCA so that these cases are not booked on your list. So by getting people on board and letting them know which are the cases that you're looking for, then you'll increase the flow of patients suitable for the RCA. The receptionists at the practice have been working there for years, so they know who are the difficult patients, who are the patients who will be suitable for recording for the RCA. But you need to let them know what sort of cases you're looking for. Um, it's also important that you have a strategy as to how you're going to capture your cases. Let your practice manager and the receptionist know this week you're focusing on cardiovascular system. So let them know that if there's any patient coming with chest pain or palpitation, then that's very important for you to try to get these cases. Then it's fresh in your head and by doing cases back and forth with the same clinical topic, then you're likely to be consulting at a higher level than if you were doing ad hoc um, cardiovascular, gastro, psychiatry. So that's why it's very important to focus on a theme per week so that you actually get your cases polished. Tip number two is to be present in the moment. Today there was one of the registrars who was actually not present and was overthinking the cases. And by doing that, that registrar was not listening to what the patient said. And he actually was asking repetitive questions about things that the patient has already mentioned. And this is something that's going to penalize a person in the interpersonal skills because if you're not listening, you're not in the moment and the conversation is not flowing, then you can't build very good rapport with your patient. So make sure that you're present in the moment and give the patient your full attention, listen what they have to say and by listening, then you won't be worried about what you're going to ask next because you're in the consultation and you're in the moment so you know where to take it to the next uh, question. So make sure that you're in the moment. Last but not least is that you need to make sure that when you're formulating your management plan, you have an adequate management plan. Now that the RCA has two more additional minutes that you've got, it's very important that you have an adequate treatment plan because if you don't have an adequate treatment plan, then you're not going to score well for that. So. Make sure that you get a shared understanding with your patient, discuss the diagnosis and let the patient know what you think and verbalize it for the patient and the examiner also understand what you're trying to manage because if they don't hear it, if they don't see it, then they assume that there's nothing that's happened so they won't even know what you're trying to manage. So make sure you verbalize your working diagnosis and then discuss with the patient based on what the patient has said to you and readdress the ideas, concern and expectation and integrate that with your management and discuss the pros and cons of what management you are offering to your patient. It's not good just to give options to patient without discussing what are the pros and cons of each option and supporting the patient to make that choice that's best for them. So make sure you do that and don't forget to do safety net in an appropriate and realistic way. Don't just safety net, generic safety net. Make sure that you're specific so that the patient know what to expect and what if something went wrong and what if they have symptom X or Y, what do they need to do? By being very specific and clear, then you're going to score higher in clinical management. Do you want to take things to the next level and give yourself every chance to pass the RCA? I'm offering a limited one-to-one -one coaching service where I guide you every step of the way. If you don't want to risk failing the RCA, book for the RCA Blueprint Coaching Session today where we can discuss 
how you can implement strategies, tactics, and tools and receive personal feedback to help you pass the RCA. If you want to join the limited coaching program, click the link down in the description below. If you have any questions or any suggestions, please let me know down in the comment section. Take care everybody. Bye-bye.